Hi, welcome to my next video. This time something a little bit different. This is probably the first video uh, of a series I will be doing on making art on iPad using an iPad. I have an iPad Pro 10.5 uh, inches model, the new one, and I wanted to show you how I explore the possibilities of using it to make art. But before I get to all the technical details about using the iPad, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the picture. As you know, we moved with Kana to a new house recently, and we liked the house because it's a, a traditional Japanese old building. And in the bedroom, it has this layout of a window with a bench you can sit on and a bookshelf near it. Uh, this is kind of unusual for a Japanese building, so I wanted to do a quick illustration, a quick sketch to show you how it looks like. This sketch was done on iPad Pro using Procreate and an Apple Pencil. And I used here only brushes I made myself. I spent some time getting used to Procreate. And while I was doing it, I was just doodling away and I made some brushes to accommodate my workflow. I tried few applications for painting and sketching, but I like Procreate and Adobe Sketch the best. And for photo edition and uh, like manipulating images, I like to use Affinity Photo so far. I tried watercolor style sketching in Procreate and Adobe Sketch and at first I liked uh, Adobe Sketch more uh, because I could just import my watercolor brushes and my all my brushes from Photoshop and they worked almost the same which is great but at the same time the software kind of lacks options and and it doesn't have the option to record the painting process so I cannot show you what I do if I work outside and it kind of defeats the purpose of having an iPad and the software and having the ability to just work whatever whenever so you will probably see a lot of procreate here but actually Adobe Sketch is also a good option especially if you're already paying money for the creative cloud or have some brushes bought for Photoshop okay so this picture was done in procreate with about 3000 pixels wide file so first I used the pencil brush to do a rough sketch and I did the inks with the inker brush and I made three watercolor brushes to finish the picture. I tried not to layer the colors too much. This is the way I work when I paint by hand. And I set up the brushes so they differ uh, with the way they react to the Apple Pencil pressure. And I'm actually really surprised about the quality of the Apple Pencil and the accuracy of it. Even though I have no cursor on the screen as I do on my Wacom tablets, I'm impressed at how easy it is to paint on the iPad screen. Okay, so the picture is done. I will do more in-depth videos once I get used to this software and the iPad. But I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the room itself. We did a little bit of a research with Kana, and we think that the room took its weird shape from something more traditional like this. Actually a space for practicing painting and writing, and you would use the bench, not for sitting, but as a table. And in the space on the left you would display a poem or a painting, or something like a flower arrangement. Okay, so the last part of this video are the brushes I was talking about. I actually made a package of those brushes and uploaded them to my Gumroad account, so you can download them for free and try them yourself. The link is in the description. As always, feel free to share, follow and subscribe, and you can also support me on Patreon. We already reached the first goal I set, so I'm really happy and would like to thank all my supporters there. See you in the next video. Bye!